Welcome children again. In the last video I explained you how to add and subtract two integers with the same sign or unlike signs. Now in this video I will share the properties of addition and subtraction of integers. Before we begin I would just like to advise that don't waste your time. Utilize it more constructively. Okay, so we'll come to the first property that is closure property of addition. When we talk about closure property of addition, if we add two integers a plus b, then the result or the sum is always an integer. Just see the example, 9 plus minus 7 is equal to 2 and the second example, minus 6 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 11. In both the cases, the sum is an integer. That means integers are closed under addition. Now we will talk about closure property of subtraction. If A and B are integers, then A minus B is equal to always an integer. That means the result or the difference is also an integer. Just see example 1. 7 minus minus 9 is equal to 7 plus 9. That is equal to 16. The second example, minus 4 minus 3 is equal to minus 4 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 7. In both the cases, the difference is an integer. That means integers are closed under subtraction. Okay, now uh, commutative law of addition. Okay, when we talk about commutative law, if A and B are two integers, then whenever we add a plus b, it's always equal to b plus a. That means if we change the order while adding, the sum doesn't change. Just see example number 1. Minus 4 plus 9 is equal to 5. Whereas 9 plus minus 4 is also equal to 5. Just see example 2. Minus 3 plus minus 8 is equal to minus 11. Whereas minus 8 plus minus 3 is also equal to minus 11. So addition is commutative for integers. Now let us check for subtraction. If a and b are two integers, then a minus b is not equal to b minus a. Just see first example. If we change the order, the difference changes. So that means subtraction is not commutative. So example 1. 3 minus 5 is equal to 3 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 2. But if I change the order, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Where minus 2 is not equal to 2. Therefore, we say that subtraction is not commutative. Now, we will come to the third property that is associative law of addition. Okay, in associative law of addition, if we have three integers, we add them in any order, the sum doesn't change. Like, in the, uh, if you see on the left hand side, we add A plus B first. On the right hand side, we add B plus C first. But the sum remains the same. See the example? Minus 6 plus minus 8 is equal to minus 14. Now we add the third integer to the sum of the first two. That means minus 14 plus 5 is equal to minus 9. In the second case, we add the second and the third integer first. Minus 8 plus 5 is equal to minus 3. Now to minus 6 we add minus 3 we get minus 9. If you see we had changed the order while adding but the sum is still the same. That means minus 9. So therefore addition is associative for integers. Okay now we talk about subtraction. Is subtraction of integers associated? No. Subtraction of integers is not associated. That means if we change the order while subtracting, the result will change or the difference will change. Just see the example given there where from the first we subtract the second integer. That means 3 minus minus 4 is equal to 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Then we subtract the third integer from the difference of the first two. That means 7 minus minus 5 is equal to 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Now if I change the order, now from the second integer I subtract the third. That means minus 4 minus minus 5. We get minus 4 plus 5 that is plus 1. 
Now from the first, I subtract the difference of the second and the third. So that means 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So therefore we say that, sub and if we see the result, 12 is not equal to 2. Therefore we say that subtraction of integers is not associative. Okay, now we'll come to the fourth property, that is existence of additive identity. Now, which number, when we add, the result or the number doesn't change, that is 0. So, for any integer a, we have a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a, that is always a, the number itself. Same here, 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 5, that is equal to 5. The second example, minus 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus minus 5 is still equal to minus 5. Now we will talk about the fifth property that is existence of additive inverse. That means if any integer is there, there is an opposite. That means for any integer a, we have a plus minus a is equal to minus a plus a that is equal to 0. Just see the example 7 plus minus 7 is equal to 0 whereas minus 7 plus 7 is still equal to 0. So minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0 and 4 plus minus 4 is also equal to 0. Okay, I hope you have understood the properties of addition and subtraction of integers. Now, complete exercise 1a from R.S. Agarwal. For the help, so that you can check uh, what you are doing is correct, I am going to send or I will attach a link with this video.